Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Hey, you wanna see something cool? Also known as Chelsea Bells, depending on where you see me. Hey everyone, this is Olga Got to Phoenix with Mofino! <laughs> so let's get the show on the road! I'll reintroduce myself. I am Xiao Mei. I am the narrator of the story you're hearing. But you already know me. Let's review Miraculous Ladybug and Cat Noir, episode 109 Destruction. <laughs> Look out, here we come! Destruction, the Cat Miraculous Plague. Are you ready to have some fun? We open this week with Marinette in her room watching a video of Alia's Lady Blog about Monarch having all the miraculouses. While Marinette tries to lower the volume, suddenly Alia enters the room and hears that she was watching Lady Blog. Marinette tries to explain that the video launched itself and Alia agrees with her. Alia then asks whether she wanted fruit, to which Marinette says yes. And while going back, Alia tells Marinette to take her mind off Monarch and rest. When Alia goes back, Marinette opens the video once more, in which Alia says Ladybug and Cat Noir need to be extra careful, and Marinette grows extremely concerned. In the repository, Gabriel vows Emily that he will retrieve Lady the Ladybug's miraculous and then turns to the Kwamis and says that they are going to help him with this. He walks towards the Grimoire and reads it, and then he orders Ordico to give him the power of time travel since Orko's power is sublimation. But he can't do it since time travel is Fluff's power, and he can't copy the power of another Kwame. Gabriel asks if he's trying to deceive him, to which he tells Gabriel to reread the Grimoire. While he's rereading it, Sass explains that each Kwame represents one concept and that a concept could only exist once in the universe. Zuku goes to Gabriel and explains it by taking the example of Tiki. Since Tiki is the Kwame of creation, there can only be one creation concept. And if there's another power of creation, then it will be called replication instead of creation. Gabriel then asks Sordico to give him the power to locate Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. But Oriko states that it's not a power, but a wish. Zuku once again explains that if he asks Santa for a he asked Santa for a pair of socks. It is a wish, but if he asked him to give him the power to knit socks, then Santa himself should know how to knit socks in order to teach him. So Gabriel becomes pissed off or frustrated and asks Sordico to give him the power to unmask Ladybug and Cat Noir's secret identities. But once more, he can't do this since sublimation cannot disrupt other Kwame's magic, such as how the miraculous conceal identities of their holders. As a result, in frustration and anger, Gabriel says that Ortico is a useless Kwame, to which he gets hurt, and the other Kwamis begin to mock Gabriel. So he silences them all. And Gabriel says that he only needs the Kwamis, not their power, in order to reveal their guardian's identity. He allows them to speak and orders them to say the name of their guardian. But when all the lady Kwamis say Ladybug, Gabriel becomes increasingly frustrated and he says that he already knows that and he wants to tell them the name of Ladybug but they are unable to speak their name since she hadn't renounced them yet. At last finding a loophole, Gabriel orders the Kwamis to reveal the location in the Guardian's place since there are no rules against it. A freaked out Ziggy tells him to just follow the smell of croissants. 
Gabriel transforms into Monarch, unifying a butterfly, butterfly, a horse, turtle, and be miraculous as it says that it is about time to catch Ladybug. The scene changes to Marinette's house where Tom is making croissants and Sabine comes and asks why he's making bread at this time. Tom will need no explains that since he is no superhero, he's doing what he is best at, and that is making bread and pastries. He hopes that when people will eat his friend Monarch would have less victims to be akumatized, and Sabine begins to eat a taste of the bread and says that with every day passing, she loves him more, and after that they both begin to need though, and they sing together. In a room, Marinette is lying on her bed and scrolling through her phone, through the recent event on the news. She tries to think about anything but Monarch, but fails to do so. Suddenly, a voyage portal opens in her room and Monarch comes out of it. Both Monarch and Marinette are surprised to see each other. Monarch asks the Kwamis if they're sure about this. Ziggy says that now he has to ask Marinette for the gift. When Monarch asks her about the gift, she remembers and says she has it. As she climbs down to the bed, Monarch points at the spinning top and warns her not to make any sudden moves. She proceeds towards her dress drawer, chest drawer, almost tripping over her chair in the process, but manages to take out the gift from her drawer. When she gives it to the Monarch, he realizes that the gift was a key with the ladybug design keychain. He becomes furious and asks the Kwamis why they are giving him a keychain. He even asks for the Guardian. The Kwamis reply that since Ladybug is very careful, they don't know her real address. So in case if, if they got lost, Ladybug organized a treasure hunt to her real address and the first clue was to follow the smell of croissants. Monarch asks Marinette if she knows where Ladybug is, to which she denies, saying that Ladybug just gave her the keychain when she gave her the mouse miraculous. In case she lost it, she was very clumsy. It's a number. A number is a series of funny little symbols that are generally useless, except for noting how many bananas you want for your afternoon snack. Well, that is the key that opens a locker at this place where you can slide around like crazy on top of a frozen pool. It's a number. A number is a series of funny little symbols that are generally useless, except for noting how many bananas you want for your afternoon snack. Well, that is the key that opens a locker at this place where you can slide around like crazy on top of a frozen pool. Just as Marinette was about to give the key chain to Monarch, Alia enters his room with a tray of croissants but drops in surprise upon seeing Monarch. He explains that Alia surely knows where Ladybug is, to which Alia takes out her phone and starts recording Monarch. Monarch breaks her phone and raging takes away the keychain. When he breaks the keychain, he sees a piece of paper with 42 written on it. He asks the Crombies about this, and they tell him about the ice rink by mistake. Monarch takes advantage of it and teleports the ice rink by voyage, leaving a dumbfounded Alia. We'll be right back to the show on Disney Channel. Now, let's get back to the show on Disney Channel. And now, back to our show. Monarch arrives at the ice rink and asks Philippe about the key. So Philippe leads him to the lockers and opens the locker door. And Monarch sees that it certifies a photograph, a cat in a statue, a Greven museum, and a piece of paper which has three written on it. He realizes that these clues spell out an address. As he prepares to leave, Philippe stops him and takes selfies with Monarch. So Monarch shoves Philippe aside in annoyance and travels to Greven Museum through Voyage. As Monarch goes away, Philippe posts his selfies online along with Nadia Chamek, Lady Ice, Jagged Stone, and Clara Nightingale selfies. At Musi Greven, Veronique proceeds to close the museum. But Monarch teleports behind and orders her to take him to Cat Noir's statue. When they arrive at the statue's place, Veronique leaves him, and Monarch begins examining it. He notices a piece of paper in Cat Noir's bell, and he sees that it has halfway written on it. Causing Monarch to say 42 halfwits straight, suddenly Cat Noir's statue grabs him by the hand, and Ladybug uses her yo-yo around her hands, and Ladybug summons Lucky Charm, plastic tubing, and wrapping it around Monarch, and mobilizing it. As Ladybug pulls them, both of them down, Cat Noir activates Cataclysm to scare him as if he attempted to escape. Monarch becomes surprised due to the sudden turn of events, and Ladybug explains that when she got Philippe and Monarch's selfies notification, she came in here for advance to change the real address and statue. She tells him to surrender the Miraculouses or Cat Noir will Cataclysm him. But as she tries to take the Butterfly Miraculous, Monarch recklessly pulls Cat Noir and lets his forearm be touched by Cataclysm. As he screams in pain and agony, 
Ladybug and Cat Noir back away in horror. As they both back away, Monarch uses Voyage to escape from the duo. Once he is gone, Ladybug can't believe she has once again failed when the Kwamis were so close. And Cat Noir begs Ladybug to undo the effects of Cataclysm with their superpower since, after all, behind Monarch's mask was a real person. But Ladybug tells him that she can't do anything since Monarch took the lucky charm from with him. And they both become devastated over the recent event. <laughs> Is he crazy? Help! I want to stay with you! We had him! We almost had him! The Kwamis were safe! They were right here! I cataclysmed him! I don't believe this! I just cataclysmed someone! Granted it was Monarch, but there's a real person behind that mask and I must have hurt him terribly! Lady, you've got to fix this. Cat Noir, Monarch just ran away with my lucky charm. Without it, I can't fix anything. I can't call up my power and undo the effects of the cataclysm. There's nothing I can do. At Alia's house, Marinette explains the recent events to her, but Alia tries to tell her to explain about the whole plan. So Marinette explains her plan part to her, but it becomes sad at the end when she failed to recover the miraculousness. Alia cheers her up by saying that it was the most amazing plan, and then she comments on her broken phone that Monarch has to buy her a new one, and they both laugh. Tiki watches and smiles at them, seeing Marinette in less stress than before. Right back to the show on Disney Channel. Now, let's get back to the show on Disney Channel. Ah, spoiler alert! Just to let you all know, we're going to talk about Paris because this leads into the events of Alex on a trip. So keep in mind, we're doing a nutshell recap for a miraculous world Paris. So this scene shifts some pop mocks lair, where Gabriel is disintegrating the miraculous with help from a device. After that, in Gabriel's atelier, Tomoe and Gabriel discuss something when Adrian interrupts them. After Adrian leaves, Tomoe agrees and gives. Gabriel, a small briefcase containing a small power orb. Back in his lair, he places the power orb on the device, and it produces a beam, which remodels the dis disintegrated Miraculouses into alliance rings. After remodeling every Miraculous, he wears the alliance ring outfit and the Miraculous rings on his fingers, and then he asks the Kwamis about his new Miraculous, and it shows each Kwami trapped in a small glass pot in a circular design construction, which is like a prison pot. He proceeds to wear gloves over his miraculous and transform into Monarch. He proclaims Ladybug and Cat Noir will not be able to trick him since his reign of terror is about to begin. Did you know that? This is the last episode before the events of Miraculous Paris begins and Multiplication's montage and jubilation. Now you know! Overall, this was a great way to start the Alliance Ring's Miraculous Villains Saga. Now let's go over the good and the bad of destruction. The good is that Marinette told Alia that they will succeed in defeating Monarch and getting the Miraculouses back. The bad is that this is a prelude to the World Paris special and before the end of multiplication and jubilation. And now on to our final rating. We give destruction a 7 out of 10 and this episode's overall rating is a 4.3 out of 5. Oh yeah, next time! And there you have it. But until then... We'll see you then! Be sure to subscribe to Gabe Wimbala's YouTube channel. Come on. Like and subscribe to Natalie's channel. Not Natalie Lander's channel. We don't care about her. Natalie Elaine's channel, okay? Get it together.
will see what happens when she loses someone she cares for. I look forward to seeing you again, Marinette Dupin Chain. Huh? Ah! <laughs> uh, uh, uh.